नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं हूं सचिन और आपका मेरे YouTube चैनल पे बहुत बहुत स्वागत है तो दोस्तों वीडियो का टाइटल देख के आप समझ ही गए होंगे कि आज हम किस टॉपिक पे बात करने वाले हैं जी हाँ दोस्तों आज हम बात करेंगे हाउ आई क्वालिफाइड पी एच डी इंटरव्यू एट एन जलंधर देखिए इससे पहले मैं आपको बता दूं कि इट वॉज नॉट माई फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू आई हैड अपियर इन अ नंबर ऑफ इंटरव्यू बिफोर अपेयरिंग फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर इंटरव्यू एट एन जलंधर so as you all know that getting a seat in phd is very difficult and the other thing is if you do not have grf then uh, getting a seat uh, for phd it becomes more difficult for you and plus getting a seat at nit or iit it's also very difficult it's too difficult actually and in my case i didn't have any uh, grf to koi external fellowship mere paas nahi thi still how i qualified it what are the thing that i did to get a seat at uh, nit jalandhar that i will be going to share in this particular video and what was my journey of reaching uh, this uh, place how uh, what are the uh, hustles or struggles that i went through during my journey that i also i'm going to discuss in this particular video so watch the video till the end so that you will get to know how to find a seat or how to get a seat in uh, you know in nit jalandhar or in any other nits or iits that i will be sharing my experiences also in this particular video and if you have any question uh, regarding phd or anything related to phd or iit or nit then you can put your queries in the comment section but for that you have to watch the video till the end and you do not have to skip the video so let's start the video without wasting any further time so friends if i talk about my phd experiences then this was my first interview at any uh, you know at any nit before that i had applied for nit surat for which i didn't appear for the interview as i was having interview at the same time at iit mandi also so i chose iit mandi for the interview uh, then to appear in nit surat i had applied for nit kurukshetra also but after applying i got to know that there is no seat for institute fellowship this time so they were having uh, you know self sponsored phd program uh, when i applied for nit kurukshetra so uh, considering that thing i didn't appear for the interview as you know that in my case it was not possible for me to go for self sponsored project or self sponsored phd okay so i was looking for fellowship i didn't have grf that was why i was already already targeting uh, only iits and uh, uh, nits okay and then i applied for nit hamirpur also which was my first choice but they didn't shortlisted me i don't know for what grounds they didn't shortlisted me but i couldn't appear for uh, that interview also and then finally i came here at nit jalandhar filled the form for phd at the last moment and then finally got selected here but it was not so easy as it may look so because before that i had applied for phd at uh, hpu also as i had done my masters from hpu uh, college so i had applied for the phd program uh, you know for the entrance exam of phd program at hpu campus which i couldn't qualify i guess i couldn't even pass the exam also so that was kind of uh, you know big blow for me and then i had appeared for iit's interview at least uh, five times like two times at iit mandi and the two times two times at uh, iit rudki and one time at iit delhi i guess yes and uh, you know other than that i have also appeared for phd interview or sorry phd entrance exam at uh, central university of himachal pradesh there i qualified the entrance test i got a call for the interview also like interview come presentation but i couldn't appear for that interview considering the uh fellowship thing that they provide very less number of fellowship i guess only 8000 is given to uh, you know the net qualified candidate that is not uh, that that won't suffice for me i guess so that's why that was the main reason that i did not appear for uh, that uh, presentation other thing was that i was not prepared with my topic also as i had chosen some different topic and then they had uh, given some different topics for the phd program so that's why i did not appear for that interview either though i had some connections over there if i had appeared for the interview then there were chances that i may have you know got a seat over there but as considering the fellowship thing i didn't appear for the interview over there also 
and then finally uh, you know i came here at uh, nit jalandhar uh, to present uh, my uh, topic as uh, i was net qualified and also i was uh, you know gate qualified also i had qualified net two time so when i appeared uh, here uh, my topic uh, was related to feminism so uh, because uh, i considered the profiles of the faculty over there at nit jalandhar and found that uh, feminism is quite related to my area because uh, though i was not working at feminism at that time but feminism is a topic that i was interested in so i thought that i can go with it other topics were related to me uh, were american literature and uh, some language concept were there some language topics were there so i was trying to go for language also during that time because i uh, i was getting to know that you know if you come from a language background then you have uh, a great chances of getting a seat at phd because in literature they you do have a lot of competition but in language you do not have that much competition though doing a phd in language is very difficult compared to literature but still i thought that i can go with it so i gave three options i get one is from feminism and then other is from american literature and the other one was for uh, phonetics i guess okay so when i appeared for the interview i had prepared very well uh, you know uh the ppt presentation that they had asked us to present our topic in detailed manner so i took uh, dr uh, you know ramakant's help from akal university so he helped me prepare that ppt so he made a very well ppt actually so they liked the ppt uh, you know uh, my guide and other uh, other members who were there in my interview so they, they like the ppt also okay so it was by the help of this person who helped me prepare that ppt and then uh, you know when i my turn finally came actually my turn was last uh, second last turn i guess my turn so when i appeared uh, entered the uh, you know entered the room uh, the interview room i like uh, you know uh, i wished uh, good evening to all of them and then i introduced myself and then i started uh, you know with my presentation they asked me to to skip some of the topics that i had uh, had you know added in my presentation uh, the basic things related to feminism and the uh, you know areas related to feminism they asked me to skip those uh, things and uh, come to the literature review point and other things and i uh, i discussed all those points in a very positive manner though at first i was feeling a little a bit uh, you know less confident but then there were a female professor who like praised me and like told me that you can do it and then just uh, present whatever you have you know uh, thought about in your mind so they were very you know they they were very lenient okay so zyada dikkat nahi kar rahe the wo theek hai jo bhi the wahan pe teen hi members the actually when i appeared for the interview so there were only three members one was my guide uh, so the two were subject experts and one was dean academic welfare uh, i guess so i gave my interview in a very you know confident manner i had a kind of good discussion with them and uh, you know uh, when i was uh, like uh, when i i was done with my presentation when i came back so i was having a little bit uh, you know a little bit uh, thing that i will i will get a seat this time and after two days i guess the result was declared and i was the only candidate who got selected during that time uh, you know uh, during that time uh, for phd in my department i was the only candidate who got selected over there right now so this was how i i got the seat at nit jalandhar तो दोस्तों मैंने इंटरव्यू के लिए कैसे प्रिपेयर किया किस तरीके से मैंने प्रपोजल बनाया और भी सारी चीज़ें जो प्रिपरेशन के लिए ज़रूरी होती हैं चाहे वो आपका एंट्रेंस एग्ज़ाम के लिए है चाहे वो आपके पीएचडी रिसर्च प्रपोजल के लिए है आपकी यू नो एसओपी के लिए है या फिर आपकी प्रेजेंटेशन पी जो भी बनानी होती है अपने अपने रिसर्च एरिया को लेकर ओके सो वो सारी चीज़ें मैं आपको एक अलग यू नो वीडियो में बना दूंगा इस वीडियो में आपको ये बता देता हूँ जाते जाते कि आप एन आई जलंधर में अगर आप पीएचडी करना चाहते हैं वेदर किसी भी सब्जेक्ट से आप करना चाहते हैं तो आप किस तरीके से कर सकते हैं देखिए सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आपको कुछ सब्जेक्ट में तो देखिए एंट्रेंस एग्जाम होता है अगर आपका गेट या फिर नेट क्वालिफाई नहीं है तो फिर आपको एंट्रेंस एग्जाम देना पड़ता है और उसके बाद आप जो है यू नो आप अपनी प्रेजेंटेशन के लिए जाते हैं लेकिन अब इस समय से उन्होंने क्या कर दिया है इन्होंने अभी सिर्फ गेट क्वालिफाइड और नेट क्वालिफाइड कैंडिडेट को ही दे रहे हैं या फिर जेयर क्वालिफाइड कैंडिडेट को ही कंसीडर कर रहे हैं अगर तरह आपका इनमें से कोई भी एंट्रेंस एग्जाम क्वालिफाई नहीं है सॉरी या फिर मतलब गेट जे या फिर नेट कुछ भी नहीं है अगर आपके पास तो अब आप शायद एन आई जलंधर के लिए आई डोंट थिंक दैट यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर फॉर दिस प्रोग्राम ओवर हेयर सो वट यू हैव टू डू 
you have to make a presentation uh, first of all you need to make a phd research proposal aapko apna ek area select karna padega jisse ki aap research karna chahte hain theek hai agar aap nit jalandhar se karna chahte hain to wahan ke jo jitne bhi faculties hain aapke department ki unki profile ko ek bar check kar lijiye and then try to find out ki aapka unke sath kahin na kahin research area matches hota hai ya nahi jiske sath uh, you know thoda sa bhi match hota hai to us pe aap ek acha sa research proposal bana lijiye theek hai and when you are done with your research proposal uske baad ek ppt presentation bana lijiye jisme ki aap sare you know topics add kar lijiye apna title uske baad brief summary abstract introduction of your topic and then literature review references bibliography what will be the outcome of your research and what are your future recommendations theek hai ye sari cheeze ya fir what are what are the, the theory that you are going to apply into your research ये सारी चीज़ें आप अपनी पीपीटी में बना दीजिए एंड देन व्हेन यू अपीयर फॉर द इंटरव्यू ना इंटरव्यू का प्रेजेंटेशन एट दैट टाइम प्रेजेंट योर टॉपिक इन अ वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट मैनर वेदर यू हैव यू नो इनफ नॉलेज और नॉट अबाउट योर एरिया यू शुड प्रेजेंट योर टॉपिक इन इन अ वेरी आई वुड से वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट मैनर बिकॉज दैट गिव्स एन एच फॉर यू टू क्वालिफाई यू नो पी एच इंटरव्यू एट एन आई ठीक है तो दो चीज़ें आपको करनी पड़ेंगी पी एच प्रपोजल बनाना पड़ेगा आपको जिस भी गाइड के अंदर आपने काम करना है उससे रिलेटेड आपको एरिया चूज करना पड़ेगा रिसर्च प्रपोजल के लिए प्रेजेंटेशन भी उसी के ऊपर बनानी पड़ेगी आपको एंड देन व्हेन यू अपीयर फॉर द प्रेजेंटेशन तो फिर आप उसको अच्छे से प्रेजेंट कीजिएगा ठीक है एक बात और आप कर सकते हैं मैंने नहीं की थी करी थी लेकिन आप कर सकते हैं उसको आप जिस गाइड के अंदर यू नो पी करना चाहते हैं एन आई से उस गाइड को आप प्रायर मेल कर सकते हैं आप उनसे मिलने के लिए टाइम ले सकते हैं ताकि आपको इंटरव्यू से पहले आप में थोड़ी सी यू नो कन्वर्सेशन हो जाए ताकि गाइड को पता चल जाए कि आप जो है यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन डूइंग पीएचडी अंडर हिम और हर ठीक है तो ये सारी चीज़ें आप जो है पीएचडी इंटरव्यू यू नो में अपीयर होने से पहले पहले कर सकते हैं तो दोस्तों आई गेस इस वीडियो में मैंने आपको यही बताना था कि मैंने पीएचडी इंटरव्यू मेरा कैसे हुआ था किस तरीके से मुझे सीट मिली और मैंने हर काल का आपको आइडिया भी दे दिया कि किस तरीके से आप पीएचडी में सीट दे सकते हैं एनआईटी जलंधर से अगर आपका एनआईटी जलंधर या फिर किसी भी और पीएचडी से रिलेटेड एन आई से रिलेटेड या फिर स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी या सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी से रिलेटेड आपका कोई भी क्वेरी है ना पी से रिलेटेड तो आप कॉमेंट सेक्शन में पूछ सकते हैं मैं आंसर करने की पूरी पूरी कोशिश करूँगा जितना भी मेरे को आइडिया है जितनी भी मेरे को नॉलेज है क्योंकि Uh, as I have told you, की आई हैव पेड इन ए नंबर ऑफ एंट्रेंस एग्जाम एन यू नो पी एच डी इंटरव्यूज तो आई मे बी ऑफ अ लिटल बिट हेल्प टू यू और आप अपनी क्वेरी जो है वो कॉमेंट सेक्शन में पूछ सकते हैं डिटेल्ड क्वेरी तो इंस्टाग्राम पर कॉन्टैक्ट कीजिएगा या फिर ई मेल कीजिएगा और वो सारे लिंक्स आपको मेरे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में मिल जाएंगे अगर आपको ये वीडियो अच्छी लगी है तो दोस्तों लाइक शेयर और कॉमेंट कर दीजिएगा चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर दीजिएगा क्योंकि इसी तरह की वीडियोस आपको हमारे चैनल पे रेगुलर बेसिस में मिलती रहती हैं नई वीडियो लेके जल्दी आपके सामने हाजिर होंगे तब तक के लिए थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड हैव अ ग्रेट डे